ahead, I'm gonna make it a little bigger. Now we kind of like, want to make this look a little bit like a Polaroid picture. So we're going to take a little bit of an off color white. And we'll make it a rectangle. Take it to the bottom. Size it around. If it wasn't for the black border on around the picture, it would be all, be all right. Uh, let's put a little shadow behind this back one. So we're going to take. Well, let me take this picture out of here for a minute. Let's uh, highlight this one and with the little arrow at the top, and then uh, get your arrows around it and then duplicate it. Now we're going to make this kind of a shadow color, so we're going to darken it up a little bit. And then we'll go up and get our brush, and then put a little blur on it. Way too much. About a two. Maybe a three. There we go. Okay, now we got a gray one with a blur around it. So we're going to highlight that, and we're going to take it to the bottom. And then we'll grab this one and kind of offset it just a little bit. Go up to our arrow, group the two together. Okay, now we'll put me back in there. group this together. Let me see who popped out here. Did we lose somebody? Yeah, I think we lost me. I'll watch for Carolyn to come back. Okay, so now we have our picture. And we'll, we'll tack it to the wall. So we're going to take the circle, grab it, and we'll get us a nice little colored red. We'll make us a little tack. And we'll take and duplicate this by putting onto the little arrow, clicking on it, right click, duplicate. Then we're gonna put a little gradient on it, I think. Maybe change the color a little bit. Oops, that's ugly. That kind of looks like a tack. And then I'm going to draw a rectangle. We'll make it kind of a silver color, gray. We're just going to make a little teeny rectangle. And then we'll move it up here. And we want to move that to the back. It kind of looks like a tag. Now we're going to group that together, clicking the little arrow, drawing a box around it. We'll go to Object, Group, and we'll make our little tag all one piece. Oops. Yeah. Uh -huh. 
take this one to the back first. I guess I could go make this a lot bigger so I can see what I'm doing, but I'm going to group these together, hopefully. And we're going to turn it a little bit. <coughs> now we're going to move it. I want That's right kind of looks like a tack. I've done this, made it look a lot more like a tack than that. We'll group this together. Now it should all be one piece, tack and all, hopefully. Then we'll kind of just kind of skew that a little bit like it's not straight. And we've got a picture on the wall. But you can play around with it and get it to look exactly like a Polaroid.